Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislovati. I'm an excellent Fabi enthusiast with decades of business experience. Have you ever wished that we can create a slicer which display the values of a measure? Once upon a time, I thought that it was impossible and the only option available was to add calculated column which can then be referenced by the slicer. Good news, there is a way to display measure values in your slicer which can then be used to filter your report. In this week's video, I want to show you how we can create a slicer that has values that is linked to the value of a measure. And the measure is classification. If you look at the table in here, I have several columns and there is a column called classifications. If classification match is selected, then only match is displayed. If not, if I click all, then both match and non-match will be displayed. And this classification columns over here, it is based on a measure. The measure is based on the DAX written over here. Hmm, what do you think? How do we create a slicer displaying values based on a measure? Can we simply click and drag measures into a slicer? No. If I create a slicer and then click and drag classification, it won't let us. See? So how did we do it? Well, you have come to the right place because in this video, I will show you the secret to add measure values to a slicer. And it involves five steps. First step is to create your measure classification. This is what we use feel free to tweak it to your needs. And then step two is to create an independent filter classification table. This is the table that we created. The values that we created in this table is linked to the measure classifications. If your measure classification has more values than match or not match, for example, if it's profitable, not profitable, then you want the table also be saying profitable, not profitable, etc. And then step three, Add selection field to our slicer and set it to a single select. Step four, create a filter flag measure using switch DAX functions, something like this. And then step five, add the filter flag to your visuals filter pane and then set to equal to one. I will show you step by step later on in this video. All right, let's get started with step one, which is to create the measures that we want to show in our slicer earlier. So just click new measure, and then I'm going to paste in the text from earlier, which is classifications. Now, with this, it is simply looking at the difference amount. If it's zero, it's going to say match. If not, not match. And then it's wrapped under is in scope so that the total will show zero. And then once done, simply click and drag into our visuals. And then I would also move it into a different home table so that they are neater and grouped together with other measures. And that's step one done. Next, we need to create an independent table. Click enter data and then type in the values of the measures in here. So earlier we have match, not match, or all. And I'm going to rename this column, double click it, selection, and then I'm going to add another column and I'm going to call it order. This is so that I can sort my values. So if I want match to be displayed in the first row, then I'm going to put it as one, two, three. Okay. And then the table name, I'm going to call it the filter classification. And then after that, hit load. And once you have done that, just watch, a new table will appear over here. Filter classification. And if you open it up, that's order and selection, the two fields that we have just created. And if you go into our data model, look at the model view, this filter classification, it is an independent table, not really linked to any of our fact table or dimension table. And it's fine, I'll show you how to use this table in subsequent step. Next step is to create our slicer. Let's click slicer and then click and drag selection to our slicer. And then I'm going to just change the type of the slicer into drop down list. Yep. Okay. And then the selection we should turn on single select like that. Nice. And then the 
just make it a bit smaller and then put it up there. Let's test it. Match and not match. It's not filtering yet. Don't worry, we'll get to that in the next step. All right, next step is to create a new measure called filter flag. It has two variables, current selection and current classification. Current selection shows the selected value in our slicer. Current classifications shows the measures, classification measures. And then after that, we'll return the values from the switch functions. And this switch functions over here basically compare the value of the current selection from the slicer and current classification from the measures, which is displayed in the table. And if the values are the same, then it will return one. If the values are different, then zero. So these are all possible combinations, match, not match. If they're both match in the slicer and in the table, then one. Not match in the slicer and in the table, also one. And then if the slicer says all, then all the flag will be just one. So if you have different values in your slicer, for example, if you have low profit, high profit, and medium profit as the selections, then you want to create more rows in here so that each row in the filter selections is being displayed and then you need one for all to catch everything and then one row for zero. Hopefully that makes sense. And then don't forget to click comment and don't forget to also set the measure home to measures so that they're all kept together and it's just neater that way. Now, moving on to the last step, let's click and drag filter flag into the visual so that we can see the value of the filter flag and it should be displaying zero or one. And then just play around with the selections slicer and you can see it's not working yet why because there is one more step to do and that is go to the filter pane and then filter flag find it and then set the value so that it's only displaying one and then click apply filter now try it one more time match voila only showing match and then not match only showing not match and then all showing everything and we are done one last thing, if you want, you can also remove the filter flag from the visuals and it will still work. Look at that. How cool is this? But what you need to make sure is that filter flag is still filtering the visuals and therefore need to be available on the filter pane. So what do you think? Is this something that you will try in the future? Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you next time.